Looks like we're on the verge of a much wider conflict in the Middle East um, because what's happened is obviously you've got the joint strikes between the UK and the US uh, um, on the Houthis. But we've got this sort of blurred line now between the Houthis and Hezbollah and the Iraqi Shias who are all backed by Iran who were all, you know, doing this in solidarity for Palestine and it just looks like it's going to potentially escalate. Mm. I do, you know, it, it's, you just wonder whether at some point America and Iran come into contact here, Peter, because they almost are, aren't they? Because America is attacking all the people, as Marina says, who are sponsored by Iran. I preferred the world when we had abominable dictators in charge of countries like Saddam Hussein in charge of Iraq and mm. Gaddafi in charge of Libya and Assad with an iron fist ruling Syria. But, of course, we went in and upset the apple cart in all those countries. We thought we knew best with our democracy that we tried to impose at the end of a barrel of a gun. So, to a certain extent, we've brought this all upon ourselves. Yeah, it's, it's difficult to argue, but I do appreciate that with, 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 with tyrants, you have clarity, but what we've got is chaos, Marina. <laughs> yeah, and, and the bit that I struggle with throughout all of this, I know I, there is a degree of that, is our interference in the world uh, that has caused a, a huge mess. But the bit about this that really just sticks with me is that the reason that we're bombing, UK and US are bombing Yemen now, is apparently because, you know, Joe Biden has said the strikes are in direct response to the attacks on ships. And Sunak says because they jeopardise trade and threatened freedom of navigation. This against the backdrop of, what, 17,000 kids in mm. Gaza being killed, two mothers a day? What about the uh, threat to their life rather than trade? Well, it's whether you take it back to Gaza, whether you, whether you say, this Peter... Is all, this is all because the, the, of Gaza. I don't know whether you'd agree with this. The, the, the government is, is, is avoiding the big issue here, which is trying to do something about what's happening in Gaza. Well, what Sunak has clearly said here is that everything boils down to a pound note, mm -hmm. which, of course, it absolutely does. And with regards to Israel and Gaza, I think there's a lot of fence sitting by a lot of people mm. because they'd like to think it's a relatively small piece of territory. It's quite a long way away. And if we sit on the fence getting splinters up our rear ends, that might be better than actually picking a side. Peter, you got